Quack! Hello and welcome back to Parasite Eve. My name is Ben from Skinny Fat Duck and we are about to use some bonus points because I actually forgot that you could even do this and you can speed up the time, the active time, or increase item capacity and I feel like... Yeah, I feel like it just makes sense to go with item capacity considering we're continuously stumbling over inventory space but that should be better so now obviously we had the disastrous uh, press release of everything going on and AF for whatever reason just told everybody everything because you know we all know that the media wants to uh, to you know uh, use the truth and all of that stuff so I don't know why she did that but she did and now we are going to the museum to um, talk to somebody about mitochondria I'll bring the car around meet me at the front all right guess this means we go out here hey what you what you typing over there buddy hello uh, he's busy I guess he doesn't want to talk Alright, so we got Carnegie Hall, Museum, and NYPD number seven. We'll go ahead and go to the museum. Going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp, what's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd, to have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside of research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Well, can't argue with that. American Museum. There's a chocobo on there. Look at that Easter egg found... I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Let's see what that security guard can do for us. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? No, we just want to talk to him. That's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. Place is pretty creepy without any people. You'll find them in the research lab on the second floor. Been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out, ever. Probably ain't much of anything we can do right here. Oh, and by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's keep track who's coming in. Thanks, Ava. Gee, Daniel, you sure don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter, thanks. 
Just my name? Yep. That should be enough, unless you want to leave your number, too. Dang. Hey, you know, he may be an old guy, but, you know, he's, uh, he, he still has it, you know? Hey, Aya. Over here. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Excuse me. Hello. Hey, Dr. Clamp. Wow, that uh, flashing screen. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Hmm? What? This thing again? What is this? This man. I know him, I think. So he's the doctor in the flashback, huh? What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Ah, you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? Mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate, separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? Mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Do you know if mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat en energy as well. Heat and the combustions from last night were for a human to burn and melt, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria are in the body begin, if all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying the mitochondria ignited these people, Professor? You may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? You have no idea. Mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, a hand is mere merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to, di to die. The signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and, in essence, dies. Same can be said for aging. Mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level de decreases. Good grief, I'm gonna have to... Take a break. Decrease in energy produ production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? 
When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria have been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientists wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world, and with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the heck is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. Gosh dang it. Well, that could have went better. That was a lot of that was a lot to read. Huh. What the heck is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. I like that they're, they're just going on a straight road, seemingly at the speed of light, and uh, no other cars are there. That man, I've seen him before. But I can't remember from where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We got to get back on the station. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. There he goes. He he down he downshifted. All right, so we're back at the precinct. Does this guy want to talk to us yet? Oh, he did. Hey, uh, any news on the case? Hope you bag this creep soon. I'd hate to bump into him in the street. See what Kathy has to say. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what's happened. So Daniel's down here, so I'm guessing we have to go to the press room, maybe? Let's go, folks. We're having a meeting. Okay. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. Uh-oh. Concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not through yet. Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Aya. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Oh, we got another mod permit. But I don't think I'm going to use it yet. Okay, Daniel. Bye. Could have waited on me to go with you. I'm going to go ahead and throw this permit into the storage. When are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns that's toys, you'll never touch them. 
Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. That dude's rocking... Torres is rocking a mullet, and he's making fun of a balding man. Not very nice. Let's get some ammo here. Nice. I can turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. All right. We'll go ahead and... You know what? We'll hang on to the tool. Put the permit in here. And you know what? We'll go ahead and put a couple medicines in here too. That looks good. Oh, we can open these up again? Okay. Oh, just that one. All right, that'll work. All right, Daniel better have waited on us. We could at least get a ride up there. Oh, things are getting serious. Well, you know, I guess it is Christmas Eve, but you would just figure in New York City, even on Christmas Eve, that, like, it would, um, you know, would be busier. What the heck does Melissa, or no, Eve, want from us? Or no, this is actually Christmas Day, I guess. Is it? It's one of the two. Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Dang, that thing's got my boy involved. She's going to pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Central Park. Bean! Daniel, stop! I gotta get to my boy, rookie. Ooh. Whoa. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Dang it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but... I'll get him out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. So, I mean, there's not a lot... I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there's not a lot of hope if... Uh, if Aya's the only person that could get close that his son is still going to be alive. You know what I mean? But anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here because the next next little bit's going to take some time. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing, and when we return, we'll actually get started in Central Park here. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.